Anytime you're ready. Okay. How many of you do homework on the computer for more than two hours at a time? If I get a raise of hands real quick. Okay. You are all at risk to cause yourself more pain and less productivity than you may be imagining. And the cause of this is called computer eye syndrome, or CVS for short. Now, um, judging by the raised hands, there's quite a few of you uh, affected. Now, uh, you go along with at least 70% of today's workforce as well are also affected by computer vision syndrome, working eight hour days, looking at computer screens the whole time. <coughs> So, to completely understand computer vision syndrome, we're going to have to first talk about the symptoms, then we're going to talk about the causes, and finally, some solutions, things that you can do starting today to help reduce your eye stress and increase your productivity. So, the first, what you need to know about the symptoms of computer vision syndrome. These come from a 20... Uh, these come from a undated post from WebMD, and there are five major symptoms. The first of which is eye strain or fatigue. This uh, feels like you're tired, but you keep you have trouble keeping your eyes open, um, and they feel stressed. They feel tired and red. They uh, don't work properly. The second is going to be headaches. You're going to feel these as pressure headaches towards the front of your head. The third is blurred or double vision. This is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, if you've ever been really, really tired and have had trouble focusing on objects close or far away, the sort of the worst thing about the blurred vision and double vision is that it doesn't often end right when you stop using your computer. It can persist for a few hours afterwards as well. The fourth is dry eyes. This can look red. You uh, don't blink as often. Uh, according to a Women's Health uh, a, uh, magazine in October of 2015, you generally blink about 18 times per minute, but when looking at a computer screen, you cut that down by a fourth. So you're blinking a lot less often, which allows or causes your eyes to become red and dry. The fifth and final is back and neck pain, and this is caused generally by not having proper posture when looking at the screen, as we sort of heard from Landon earlier. Um, not proper posture can cause back and neck pain. So now that you know about the symptoms, I want to tell you about some of these causes. All of the next five causes uh, that were listed by a 2015 post by the American Optometric Association um, are coupled with prolonged use of the computer. So using the computer for more than two hours, as well as these conditions, are going to exacerbate the computer vision syndrome. And the first is poor lighting. This is using your computer or digital screen Whenever you're in a dimly lit room with a bright lit screen, the bright lights can uh, cause uh, damage. The second is screen glare. This is fluorescent lighting reflecting off of your screen, again causing bright lights to flash into your eyes, causing fatigue, strain, and double vision. The third is improper viewing distance. This is looking too close to your monitor or digital device, holding it too close to your face, as you can see by the gentleman there. Oh, sorry. Screen distance, posture. So the fourth is posture. It's hunching over too much to look too close. These two often go hand in hand, uh, but the posture is going to be the cause to back strain as opposed to viewing distance to eye strain. The fifth one is kind of interesting. It is uncorrected vision problems. So some of you may have either nearsighted or farsightedness, but not bad enough that you have to wear your glasses all the time. You choose to wear them only so often. Choosing not to wear your glasses and having those very minor uncorrected vision problems while using the computer for prolonged times 
uh, can exacerbate those problems and make them worse over time, as well as uh, cause CVS to present faster uh, with stronger effects during your computer usage time. So now that I've talked about the symptoms and the causes of computer vision syndrome, talk about three major solutions for you. Now, the first is according to a November 2013 article posted on CNN, it talks about taking breaks, but the best way to take breaks. And the first best way to take a break, and one of the easiest ways, is called the 20-20-20 rule. It's very simple. Every 20 minutes, you want to take 20 seconds to look at something about 20 feet away from your computer. This gives your eyes time to readjust and refocus on something farther away, um, exercise their muscles a little bit more, um, and generally causes you to blink some and sort of recalibrate. This will help reduce your strain when looking back at the screen. The second was outlined in an article undated published by Harvard Vanguard Medical Associates. This talks about the proper way to set up your workspace. You want to make sure, just as in the image, that the monitor you're looking at or digital screen you're looking at is right at eye level. You don't have to adjust your neck or head in any way to view it. And they recommend a safe viewing distance of 24 to 28 inches from your face. This gives you the proper distance to ensure that your eyes are not going to be strained focusing on small print while you're looking too close. The final solution is honestly one of the least common. A 2013 <coughs> study done by the Vision Council found that only 7% of U.S. adults have tried this solution, yet it is one of the most effective. Uh, one of the downsides is that it does cost money, and that is protective lenses. The most common company for this is a company called Gunner. They make lenses prescription, with prescription or without that uh, have films over the lights to protect your eyes from incoming light rays and light waves that are generally deemed to be the most harmful. These glasses range from anywhere to $80 to $340, depending on whether you need a prescription or no prescription. If you're in the more expensive category and need a prescription, if you have any kind of vision insurance, eye insurance, they will generally cover these and you can get them much, much cheaper. This is also the protective, uh, the protective eye care that I go with. I personally use the computer and game way too often. So I have a pair of uh, gunner lenses set up in a different set of frames to help reduce eye strain. And this allows you to look at the computer as long as you want, really without taking breaks, and reduces or eliminates eye strain almost entirely. So in summary, I've talked to you about the symptoms, causes, and solutions for computer vision syndrome. So now I urge you to take action and protect your eyes protect your health, and increase your productivity. Thank you very much.